Every Memorial Day weekend, Shimer kicks off the summer with its annual Prairie Arts Festival. With me now to talk about the event are Village Special Events Coordinator Roxanne Benvenuti, Festival Chair John Latko, and participating artist Clark Bending. Welcome to uh, Speaking of Schaumburg. Thanks for having us again. Yes. <laughs> Roxanne, tell us a little bit about the Prairie Arts Festival, how it got started and, and what well, it entails. This will be our 23rd year, uh, just like Volunteer of the Year. It's our 23rd year of the Arts Festival. And it's a wonderful opportunity to spend the, the day or the weekend. You can certainly come out and enjoy the day and take in all of the art and music and have lunch. We have food vendors. And really, the grounds are so scenic. It's just a really nice location to host an art show. We have um, just about 150 artists participating, all different types of media, painting, photography, sculpture, jewelry, ceramics, glass, fiber, drawing. Don't want to leave anyone out. <laughs> <laughs> or they, they'll contact me. And uh, Lewis and Serena. Of course, always, always. And possibly some signets, too. Mm-hmm. So, John, you're, you're, you're an artist. Uh, you know, uh, how did you get involved in the Prairie Arts Festival? Well, I actually got involved in it um, through a friend who was involved with the Cultural Commission who was uh, moving and leaving and suggested that I come and check it out. So uh, the uh, first year that I did that um, was actually the, the year right before the Prairie Arts Festival started. And uh, we had, uh, the Cultural Commission had um, arranged to have 50 fine artists, they were called, joined the September Fest uh, craft show. So uh, I worked at September Fest that year and I worked with the fine artists. And I think it was right after that that Mayor Larson um, had the idea to, to start a, a separate fine arts festival. And uh, we did that. It's been pretty su successful too, it's hasn't it? It's been very successful. It started, we started with 50 in September Fest. The next year when we started the first art fair that we had about 60 artists that year. And every year after that it grew. So now we're at our max and we have around 150 artists. And we, we have, and we have more food, we have entertainment as well. I mean. Entertainment on three stages simultaneously all, all day long, all weekend long. Who picks those entertainers? <laughs> <laughs> um, we have many bands submitting. Uh, they're promo materials and we review them and there's some favorites that we have back. We also incorporate new bands each year. But it, it's um, all different types of music from jazz and harp and folk guitar. It's really, really nice. So as you're strolling through the grounds, you can always hear music, like atmosphere type music. You can always hear and stop and sit down and enjoy the music and get a bite to eat with the food vendors and, and take in all the art. Too. It's just really nice. Clark, you've been involved in the, in the festival for a number of years now. Yes. When, uh, did, when did that start? About seven years ago. But uh, I think the interesting part is the Prairie Arts Festival is why I began painting. About 12 years ago, I moved into a new home at Wise and Roselle area and uh, needed to fill up the walls. Bought a bunch of art from a different variety of artists. And back by the creek behind the stage, there was a real pretty scene, and it's still real pretty. And I said, here's some money, make, make me a painting of that. He said, no, you, you do it. I don't paint. And he said, well, maybe you ought to try. Well, I did, and here we are. Wow. Yeah. Seven I, years ago, I uh, entered the fair and have been in it ever since. And what, what's your medium? Oil painting primarily. Okay, all right. And do you remember the first, the first festival you were at? The it has to be very close to the first. How is the weather? That was, that's, I think. <laughs> um, many, many years it's been difficult, uh, but the last few years have been wonderful. Now, I understand that you introduced a new concept in, into the Prairie Arts Festival uh, this season. Tell, tell us about it. Okay, well, the um, Prairie Plain Air competition uh, came about as a result of myself and Tom Troush going around the country entering plain air competitions. And, you know, I started thinking about this, and, and I paint all over the village. And I said, you know what, there's a lot of sites in Schaumburg that we can visit between Vulcaning Heritage Farm at Spring Valley or at the lake itself or even here on the grounds of the Prairie Center. And uh, I started thinking about it, looking at a number of them, and, and I met with Roxanne and John last fall and suggested to them, and, and here oh, what's we are. What, what is plein air? Plein air is painting out in nature, like Monet and Pizarro and Renoir would do, Van Gogh. And uh, it's a little more exciting because the weather's constantly changing. The, the colors are certainly different than a studio painting, and it's real, uh, very exciting. And a separate competition. Uh, yes. Um, competition, you know, in art is always subjective, but, you know, getting out in nature, painting the wonderful sights wherever you might be. When I saw all the sights here in town, I, I thought it would be a natural fit. How many artists do you hope to get? God, I would hope to think at least a hundred. 
I okay. don't know how many we'll have. It'll be uh, wonderful you know, if we get 50. Now, now John, this is, this is a juried art fair. The art fair is juried. Now, tell, us, tell us about what, is, what does it mean when you say it's a juried art fair? The juried art fair means that the artists who want to be in the art fair have to apply, and in order to do that, they need to submit uh, examples of their work. They su submit slides of their work, or nowadays, they do that digitally, too. And a panel of jurors will review all of those things and choose the best 150 out of the, all of the applicants to be in the, in the show. So rather than someone just saying, I want to be in it and showing up, uh, they have to be juried in. That means that they have to be, their work has to be um, approved. And that's, for the fair. and that's every year, too, isn't it? Every year. So every, year artists, yeah. Yeah, every year artists resubmit their work, and uh, it, it assures that the quality of the work at the show will really be of a high quality. And that's what we're going for. Are there any of the original artists at all? We do have, I believe we have some who have been we have in some. it. Um, I believe maybe for, I'm not sure, if, I can think of one right now who's been in it for almost every year, except maybe missed one or two in who's the middle that? of it. Um, Choman? Okay. Joe, Joe. Oh, yeah, yes. Joe Shulman. And he's a, he's a ceramicist. I, I think he skipped a year or two in between. Yeah, in somewhere in there. But, but he came back. <laughs> That's yes. just off the top of my head. I don't know. Uh, there probably is someone else who I'm missing that uh, was in it for all 23 years. I'm going to guess there is. Yeah, I mean, we have quite a few returning artists and then, of course, some new ones every year as well. So. Uh, and how far, where, where, where do we draw the artists from, uh, from a geographic standpoint? Well, most are drawn from from the Chicagoland area, but we have artists from all over the Midwest, and we have artists who actually have come in from, from Florida, from California, from New York. So they do come from all over. The majority of the artists, though, are, uh, are Midwest artists. Okay, now, now do, you, do you have returning patrons to come look, look for, your, for your work? That's uh, what we really look forward to. People like your work, they come back and see you. Um, you know, because I'm local, I have a lot of people that come and see me. They'll buy small paintings, large paintings, whole variety of things. How many, how many, how many uh, paintings do you paint a year? I mean, what, 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 you know? Oh, gosh. Well, if I do the small plein air works, say six by eight, I can do three or four of those in a day. Oh, my. But um, typically I'll produce uh, two dozen large works every year. And Clark, I understand you have something to show us, a, a painting. Yes. Uh, this is uh, at Vulcaning, uh, late fall. You've got the little bit of the pond there, the sky, the beautiful fall colors, and the gardens there at Vulcaning. You know, out in nature, we've got some really lovely spots to paint in town. Very nice colors. Thank you. Now, Roxanne, is this, uh, this festival, is, when does this take place? This will be always Saturday and Sunday of the Memorial Day weekend. So this year, it's uh, Saturday, May 29th, and okay. Sunday, May 30th. And you can, people can stroll through, listen to music, eat yeah. some food, buy some art. Free admission, no charge to get in, free yeah. parking, free yeah. admission. It's 10 to 5 each day. And you guarantee good weather this year? Um, I would... I always have that requested, <laughs> but people come rain or shine because yes, they do want to come true. find their artists that's that true. they like, and they're here once a year, and oh. more often than not, they'll probably I'll make, be I'll make sure location. if I run across somebody has any questions, they'll, they'll hunt you down at the festival. Well, I, yeah, <laughs> so, I put you in charge of so that. So th thanks, Roxanne. <laughs> thanks, John. Thanks, thanks, Clark, for, for being with us. Thank uh, you. Thanks for having thanks us. For having Every year, local high school students flood Village Hall. I'll tell you why next on Speaking of Schoenberg.